Dear students, welcome to our science episodes. Today we are going to continue discussing reflection and refraction of light. Now we are going to discuss together light refraction. Look to this barrel. This barrel is pushed from asphalt to sand, then back again to asphalt. This barrel will change its path from asphalt to sand and then back to asphalt due to change in its velocity. As light travels from a transparent medium as air to another transparent medium as glass, it behaves like the barrel. The phenomenon is known as light refraction. Look at this picture. This is the incident light ray. And of course, if light bounces back, this is reflection. But light will not perform the same as reflection. It will be refracted or change its path. So we can define light refraction as when the light changes its path, when it travels from a transparent medium to another due to different optical densities of media. But what is optical density of a media? It is the ability of the transparent medium to refract light. The optical density of a medium differs from one medium to another. Accordingly, the speed of light differs. Whenever the optical density of a medium increases, the speed of light decreases and vice versa. The optical density of a medium and the speed of light show an inversely proportional relation. Glass, water, and air are three transparent media. Can you predict the optical density of each of them or compare their optical density and then the speed of light? Let's see together. The optical density of glass is more than that of water. And the optical density of water is more than that of air. Accordingly, the speed of light in glass is the least. And then the light speed in water is less than the light speed in air, which is the maximum. Give reason for. Light is refracted when it travels from air to glass. This is because of the difference of light speed in both media due to their different optical densities. Give reason for. Light speed changes when it travels from air to water, although its frequency does not change. This is due to the change of the light wavelength. Light refraction concepts. In light refraction, we also have an incident ray. And this is the light ray that strikes a surface at the point of incidence. And we have the angle of incidence, which is the angle between the incident light ray and the normal at the point of incidence. Here is the refracted ray, and we have also the angle of refraction, which is the angle between the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence on the interface. We have also the emergent ray and the angle of emergence, which is the angle between the emergent light ray and the normal at the point of emergence on the boundary surface. What is meant by the angle of refraction of a light ray is 20 degrees. This means that the angle between the refracted light ray and the normal at the point of incidence on the interface is equal to 20 degrees. What is meant by the angle of emergence of a light ray is 40 degrees. 
This means that the angle between the emergent light ray and the normal at the point of emergence on the boundary surface is 40 degree. Now let's see together this light refraction activity. We will need thick rectangular glass block, a pencil, protractor, a white paper sheet, a ruler, and a laser pen. Put the rectangular glass block on the white paper sheet and mark around the block using a pencil. You will direct a laser beam to the point of incidence, which is A, on the periphery of the rectangular prism. Draw its path using a pencil and a ruler to represent the incident ray. And then draw the path of the emergent light ray from the point B on the opposite side. Remove the triangular prism and join the two points to represent the refracted light ray. Draw at points A and B dotted vertical lines representing the normal, which are perpendicular to the boundary surface. Your observation will be the incident light ray will change its path or refracted when it travels from air to glass and once again as it travels from the glass to air. So refraction happens at point A from air to glass and then at point B from glass to air. As a conclusion, light changes its path when it travels from a transparent medium to another transparent medium due to different optical densities of media. And please notice that the angle of incidence, which is equal to 60 degrees, is not equal to the angle of refraction, which is equal to 34.5. These numbers are examples only. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of emergence. Both of them are equal to 60 degrees. The incident and the emergent light rays are parallel to each other. Notice this line and this line, both of them are parallel to each other. Time for questions. Write the scientific term. Light changes its path when it travels from a transparent medium to another transparent medium. Light refraction. The ability of the transparent medium to refract light. Optical density. The angle between the refracted light ray and the normal at the point of incidence on the interface. Angle of refraction. State whether the statement is true or false. The optical density of the medium and the speed of light are directly proportional. False, they are inversely proportional. The incident and the emergent light rays are parallel to each other. True. Thank you. Dear students, thank you for watching and see you later in other science episodes. Thank you.